Traveling by bicycle allows us to move through the world freely and independently. And if we look at the past 200 years, freedom and independence are important parts of cycle touring history. February 1818, inventor Carl Dreis patented his creation, the Dandy Horse, an early version of the bicycle. Pedals weren't a thing yet, so riders had to push with their legs. Now all of this changed in the early 1860s when pedals were finally added. And in 1869, John Mile, Charles Spencer, and Rowley Turner commenced a 53-mile bike tour from London to Brighton, the longest bike journey at the time. And now, with the new sense of freedom and mobility, people began cycling further and further away from home. 1884, Thomas Stevens, riding a penny farthing, armed with a revolver and sporting a beautiful mustache, sets off on the first world tour. 1890, William Schlappen and Tom Allen start a three-year journey circumnavigating the globe. 1892, Frank Lenz attempts to cycle around the world, but disappears somewhere in Turkey he's never heard from again. 1894, 24-year-old Annie Kupchowski, aka Annie Londonderry, begins her world bicycle tour, the first woman to do so. These early bike travelers inspired generations of cycle tourists, and by showing the world that it could be done, we gained a better understanding of our own capabilities. And I see the same quality in this generation's great cyclists. People like Kate Harris, Tom Allen, Alastair Humphreys, and Darren Alf. Ordinary people who answered the call to adventure and in the process showed us the beauty and freedom of bike travel. Now, since the end of the 19th century, the world has changed. We found new, faster ways to wander the planet. And as we look to the stars, who knows what the future of adventure will be. But despite advancements in technology, all we need for an adventure is a bike, an imagination, and time. And because of this, bicycles, above all other forms of travel, are still the best way to freely and independently explore our world.